Welcome to a very brief overview of what's new in our CFS Designer Software version 2.8. This update introduces a new module, has added enhancements and a few useful additions. Let's take a look at changes to CFS Designer. Starting from the home menu, there is a new product line option in our Shearwall module with a link to the evaluation report in our reports section. A module for knee wall design has also been added in this update. And there are enhancements to diagrams, beam input, wall with opening, and general interaction modules. Let's take a closer look at these new features. Our new stacked shear wall module was just introduced in version 2.5. In this release, we've added the Sure Board product line as a sheathing option choice. Simply select Sure Board from the sheathing section in the Shear Wall Data tab. The SureBoard values are per IAPMO ER126. SureBoard is a product of Semco. To support the new SureBoard option, there is a web link to the SureBoard Product Evaluation Report 126, located under the Reports tab. Next, to make knee wall and low wall design easier, we have created an entirely new knee wall module. The knee wall module simplifies the design of low walls or head of walls. The module designs your moment connector, anchorage, and stud. Simply enter in the member settings, followed by the heights of the wall and window. If no window exists, enter zero for the window height. Next, enter the spacing of the RCKW connector and select if the condition is overhead or base of the wall. Currently, the diagram shows a base condition. When overhead is selected, the diagram is modified to reflect the overhead condition. The overhead condition is the RCKW supporting a cantilevered stud from the ceiling. Tension and tension interactions are added to calculations for overhead conditions because the weight of the wall acts in tension on the RCKW clip. Returning to the base option, the first step is to input loads. The loads are input as ASD uniform loads after all factors are applied. Users can select the load to be a wind or live load. If the condition occurs in a seismic region, simply click the Seismic Forces checkbox. Enter in the architectural, non-structural seismic member and fastener component loads. Seismic forces and interaction are calculated in addition to wind or live load calculations and included in the member and connector summaries. Enter in the bracing parameters and any load modifiers allowed per the code. On the right side of the screen, define the support and connection. In the layout dropdown, you can select to use one or two clips per stud post. First, define if it is attached to concrete, topside of fluted deck, or attached to steel. And finally, select if one or two anchors are to be used per clip. After selecting the layout, you will then define your support edges. Next, select the RCKW connector in the connector dropdown. And finally, the type of anchorage in the anchorage drop-down box. On the bottom of the screen, a member and connection summary is updated continuously and gives you a quick overview of your interactions for the members, connector, and anchorage. Output information can be viewed by selecting the summary report from the top menu. The output for attaching to concrete consists of a two-page report summarizing the member, connector, and anchorage interactions. The anchorage to concrete is designed per ACI 318-14 and can be designed for cracked or uncracked concrete. If attaching to a steel support, the output is reduced to one page. Returning to the home menu, let's look at the other areas with new enhancements and features. Diagrams, beam input, wall with opening, and general interaction module. The general interaction module has been enhanced to allow a maximum shear force to be entered for checking bending and shear interactions. In the beam input module, the shear, the moment, and deflection diagram has been enhanced to allow the user to enter a distance from the left end of beam and get a corresponding shear, moment, or deflection. The connections section, available from beam input or wall with opening modules, has been reorganized with more descriptive text. We strive to make CFS Designer the best software in the industry. If you have any comments or questions, please email us. We would love to hear your feedback at asksimpson at strongtie.com.
please feel free to visit our website at strongtie.com to learn about the full line of Simpson Strong Tie CFS connector products, including our new and improved three large hole RCKW. The RCKW is creating new possibilities with its innovative design.